guys. Hey guys. Um, part two, the 1999 from part one. I found 84 pairs of earrings. Four of them were bleh or unfixable or whatever. Um, I found two Monets and a Napier that were all beautiful. The lighting here's a little bad. Let's see how can I? Uh, it'll be okay. I'm doing this at night, so the lighting's a little dark tonight. These are leftovers from it that hadn't had the thing yet. Um, I have um, put most of them on cards. These are my little cards. Oops, that fell out. I love this pair. They'll probably sell pretty good, too. They're just beautiful. They have the brushed silver. So I have them on cards like this or bigger ones, depending on the size of them. And I've taken pictures of most of them from the first lot. And then um, part three, I will just go through with them on their cards and show you all the pairs. So let's get this started, shall we? Oh, it's all out there. Okay, this is it. Let's see. Oh, we got a gold one like the silver pair. Sweet. Those are nice. If I wore gold, I don't, but those are nice. Um, oh, another one. Maybe it'll find the match to the one I bought it. That I saw that one in it, and I wanted it. Oh, well, no, that's different, too. <gasps> That one goes with that one. Oh, good. Let's see, that's a Kendra Scott knockoff, it looks like. Oh, any Carolyn's out there? Let me know. I'll put this in your package for free. Any of the name stuff, that's what I do with it. If I know them, I give it to them, or I send it in whatever you order. Here is... Um, it feels like porcelain. And it's transferware, so they had, they, they make the um, bobble, they glue it on, and then they use like a sticker to do that, make that. Oh, here's the Kendra Scott knockoff. That's three pair of already found. Quick, this jar was definitely worth the nineteen ninety nine. Oh, I got another bracelet out of it. I'll definitely get my money back from that. I have enough for that. Hopefully. Oh, this one doesn't have a clasp either. Neither did that other one. I'll put it over here. There is a single feather, it looks like, earring. And while I like earrings and I like feathers, that's kind of gross one. So that will probably just trash. Let's see. There's this. There's those. Oh, here's a set that's already put together for me. Oh. Nice bobble, pretty set. You see it there? Lever back, I like lever backs. Um, I don't see a maker mark. They don't look like they've been worn at all. No wearing on the stuff, that's good for me. There's, oh, what is that? Oh, it's, it's just two pieces. And that's been like um, matted. That's kind of cool. Oh, here's a tiny little one. Heart. Oh, look at that one. Oh, and I found a couple Avons that were really nice. Occasionally Avon does have nice. They even, um, in the 90s, early 90s, had some that were sterling silver. So you can, you might look out. Oh, and I found, um, two sterling silver backs. So always look at your backs that that's pretty bit worn really bad there's the other one those will go nice with something i'm sure let's see what we got here oh these are a little odd oh these have that weird back again it's very nice but it's weird um so like faux leather and snake skin leather this odd very light they're purple they might sell i might just put them in a mystery bag are kind of weird there's the eiffel tower can you see it yeah eiffel tower um with flowers it's not bad i'm sure there's and these are really lightweight and so pretty this now i have four of those i'll have four if i can find that last one 
this one. Oh, look at that. It's a stud. I don't know if I'll find the other one. Um, let's see here. That light is actually nice. I don't see any markings on it. Like I said, I'll go over them better. I always put the back that came with the earring on it before I, um, until I can check it and make sure that like I had one set that was Monet. The earring wasn't marked, but the backs were marked. So I was glad I hadn't pulled them off. Let's see, here's one. Oh, cloisonne. We had that cloisonne pin in the first one. It doesn't match, but I like cloisonne. I always have. I was fascinated with it when my mom when my mom had some cloisonne stuff. Those are nice. These kind of things were popular in the 90s. So they each oh I think every earring is miss, pair is missing like one back to the pair. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. I have some like these actually. They're on a lever back. That's nice. They're very light. Nice to wear light earrings. Oh, these are clip-ons. Um, I don't see any marks. Kind of nice clip-ons though. So, yeah. Clip-ons sell pretty well. Just because there aren't a lot of people who make clip-ons and they're harder to find for people. Ooh, look at that one. It's copper, which I do wear copper, and gold and brass. It's very pretty. Light. Here's another one. It's like a button earring from the 80s or 90s. Yeah. Very light. Aluminum. I don't see any markings on the back of it. There's, it's like a button. You used to make buttons to match your clothes when I was sewing. When I was learning to sew, that's like a, one of those. Ugh. Not, I mean, I'm. I probably wouldn't sell it. It's kind of gross. That's pretty. That's a nice earring. Kind of southwestern look with brush gold. So it's brass, really. It's not gold, but that's nice. Gosh, I hope I find matches. These are very light aluminum that has been um, painted black, enameled black. That's nice. This is a tie tack with blue. Um, it's plastic. It's called something though, like, um, thermoplastic because they heat it up and then it forms the shape of the thing because it's kind of like a round. Yeah, they're round. Wonder, Swank is a big one. No Swank on that one, so. Oh, look at these. Monet makes a squiggle pen that I used to have. I don't know. I just. I don't think I still have the squiggle pin. I do not see this. If you guys watch other people, Sally, um, Vintage Discoveries, she just found one of these pins too that wasn't marked. This is probably the earring that goes with that. Uh, there's that. So we found that one. Okay. I've been watching Sally for a long time. This is plastic. And um, I think she she's writing a book on um, Saren Coventry. So I always think of her when I find a Saren Coventry. Oh, that goes with that kind of. So that's pretty. I found in the first lot some of the, some that might go. This might be like a set of some. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, Look at this. That is quite an earring, huh? It's a little crooked. I won't bend it now. I'll do it well. No, no markings. I hope I'll find the other one. That's kind of a neat little thing. It looks like organ pipes with a chain. I don't know if organ pipes is probably, you know, a, a nice notion to it. Here's another pair. These are nice because they're plastic, so you get a good statement without the weight. And that is something I have learned is I don't like to wear heavy earrings anymore at all. I've got a huge tangle and 
believe it or not, I like watching people and I like untangling things. So I know that some people get really annoyed with that. Oh, here's a pin and it is, well, I think it's supposed to be Santa. It's one of the like lapel pins or tie tack pins. There is no marking on it. There is something on the back of this, if you can read it there. So I always check them out more. I'll check them out. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is also, this goes with that other one that's down there. It's tie tack too. So it doesn't have a label on it. I do have lots of men's jewelry. Um, when my father passed away, he had tons and tons. And so I have sold some of those. And um, my first like job in retail was at JCPenney's. And I worked in the men's section and I sold ties and shirts and stuff like that. So I actually really like men's ties and tie tacks and cuff links. So that's okay with me. These are just a pair of little gold hoops. I do have my magnet. Oh, they're not. They may be gold filled with stainless steel. Oh, there's a hair. Gold filled with stainless steel um, findings. They're a newer, see, they're not round. Is that focused? There, they're not round. They come to a diamond point. So, there, and let's see, this is, oh, it's a um, anchor stud. It's cute. My um, son-in-law was in the Navy. My daughter likes that, but she's got very sensitive ears. She's a stud. I hope I find that. So, I don't know if she'd be able to wear them or not, but, oh, there's an Ellie. We found some Ellie's on the first go round. Does, does it match that one? No, those two don't match. I collect Ellie's, so even if those don't match, I'll keep them. So that doesn't matter to me. I really like elephants. Always have. Oh, there. They're my favorite animal next to flying pigs. This broke on the back. So, um,. I'll use the, I'll probably repurpose those. That's because they're very nice. There was no wear on them. So what I must say, this lot has had like no wear on the pairs of earrings. There you go. Those are pretty. Light as all get out. Um, yeah. So there we go. There's an earring piece. Okay. Here's another Broncos. This, oh, this one's gold. The one I found, I'm here in Denver in the metro area. So the Broncos are, um, the Denver Broncos are the football team, professional football team here. And these are like approved or whatever. Let's see, um, this one's gold. So it was, it's probably a chain. If I don't find the other one, I'll say it's a chain. I'll put it on a chain and sell it. That I would assume would sell well here. This is brutalist kind of buttoneering. Here's a pair of light as a feather leaves shall we check those oops sorry about that they are aluminum or not aluminum the they are magnetic so, oh i got it brooch i collect brooches and i sell some here's a butterfly very pretty all the stones are there uh it's not labeled they don't label the new ones anymore so that's nice. I'll add that to my collection without a problem. Oh, good. I found the other one to this one. So I will be able to check. They're just pretty. Especially if you're a gold earring person and they're on studs, which is nice. Um, let's see what I got here. Oh, those are pretty just um, blue. Navy blue and silver on a back. I like those. I might keep those. For myself, I do have some navy blue jewelry. Um, these are gold brass and um, like a Japan um, darkened piece of metal there. Stud. See, I got another stud. Oh, these are 
definitely 80s. I sold these at um, Susie's Casual. In Topeka, Kansas. There's the other one to this one. This one looks more coppery, so maybe I can, I don't know, maybe I'll clean it up, maybe I won't. If you're kind of into that brutalist look, you don't care. Here's this, and I think it goes with this. So, the, you can see the copper coming through, so they've been worn a lot. Those are the kind of earrings you get for $9.99 at TJ Maxx and you wear them, so here's that cute one. I know I we had two, or did I pick up the one that I already had out? I don't know. That's why I usually put them on. There it is. There's this other one. Nice enamel into those. Here's this one. And those are on backs, too, so or on studs, too, so that's nice. Oh, I thought those two might go together. They don't. Oh, there's the other one of this. Good, 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 good. These were from the first time they got pushed out here. Oh, I have a little angel with a halo. It's a tie tack or lapel pin. I'm just putting those up there out of the way. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is one of those cool ones. So you put it through your ear and then you do the put that on the back and it kind of looks like you have a hoop on cool and there's writing on there no maybe not let me see get my loop oh I see the pair too so that would be kind of cool huh okay no writing on the front no writing on the back. Let's see the post area. So, nope, no writing. Those will be really cool to sell though. Those are awesome. I'm glad I got the pair of those. I got some really nice rhinestone um, jewelry out of this lot. And nice rhinestone jewelry is hard to find. Expensive too. It's often not worn very much, so you should always buy your rhinestone jewelry used. This is just a pair of cheap hoops. And I just throw hoops into a huge bag and people, oh, I hope I have the other one of this. Look at that. That is an old button. I wonder if, no, it's not labeled. Is the other one labeled? Sometimes they only label one earring for some reason, but oh, I love those. Those are awesome vintage. I got a lot of vintage out of this um, thing. It was definitely worth the, um, those are gold. It was definitely worth the $19.99. Ooh, they're not magnetic, just the wires are. I will test those. I don't see, I had a pair of sterling ones like this, I think from the first time that were heavy and well made like that. So they're probably gold filled or something. Okay, there's a Ziggy Zag. So put that up there. Oh, this is just a cheap. Oh, there's the other zigzag. Cheap one. Here's, oh, we started with this right there. Now this enameling. It just isn't as good. I don't know that that came off because people were wearing it. It's just manufacturing errors, I think. But they're from the 80s. Um, Etsy calls 80s vintage. Actually, so I was looking. Here's another one of those hoops. That's why I don't like them. Because see how messed up it is. Um, the 80s is from the... 70s to 90s, the 80s is from, <laughs> vintage is considered 70s to 90s, retro is 50s and 50s to the 40s and 50s, the um, mid-century modern hippie kind of is the 60s. That's what I found a classification in chart and that's what they were saying. So I think that's probably what I'll use, those are 80s, um, on my channel I'll put it on 
in the description so everybody knows. So everybody's on the same page when you say vintage or, of course, antique, you have to be 100 years or, or, or older. This is just a pretty little ring. It was probably a stack ring. Um, but of course, anything from 1920 is vintage or is antique now. So it's kind of those, I believe, I believe these are probably a paparazzi pair. I might keep these. They're nice gunmetal ones. Um, so it is, um, easier to find antiques now. They're not as difficult. There you go. I guess in the 70s, antiques from the 1870s weren't so hard. It's just a pen, very light one. So it'll be interesting to um, see as that time goes. I find lots of stuff from the 30s for sure. So these are a pair of earrings. Um, Mother of Pearl, maybe Onyx and gold plated. They're very nice. So, if somebody made the, um, if they're handmade, they're very hard. That's hard to do. Make it so they sit right like that. If not, manufacturing those takes more time too. Here's another. Oh, so we have this one. So this, those are from the uh, mid eighties. Most that coins and nails. Oh, look, it's a ladybug. And she's adorable. I think she's missing some stones over here, though. And I do not see... Pooh! I do not see any markings. I did find... Remember I told you... I did find some little tiny ones in there, so... See them? Can you see them? Or can you just... Yeah, there's some in there. I So maybe I've, I'll find those and, can we, and fix that. If not, I will, I will still, I will keep that, and I will, um, oh no, I lost the back to that one. I will, um, repair it, definitely, put that in my collection. These, oh, and they made them left and right, see? Now that's a sign of a good pair of earrings. Cheap or not, left and right, and not both rights. That's good, I like that. That's a plus, plus they're very light. Here's this one. Oops. Wow, I got the dropsy. So here's this set. Those are big. Those are an inch, inch and a half across. I would not wear those. My face is round enough without them. Found these two. There's a butterfly. Cute. And a little green and gold. Green and gold. There you go. Cute. I do, I'm getting at the bottom and I don't see those. Here's a teddy bear. Lapel kind of pin. I did not find the other one to this one yet. Oh, there it is. Yes, I did. Good. Here is the other one to this one. The other one to that one. Black ones. Black and black. There we go. We had the other one to that one. Cool. Um, I don't believe I saw these at all, so I do not have a match to that. Oh, here's another enameled. That looks like from maybe the 80s. <clears throat> it's got a nice finishing on the back. Can you see that? Yeah, but there is no... Um, marking is this clasp work. The clasp works, stays together, so that's nice. Found two butterfly pins, in, or three butterfly pins in the lot. Um, let's see. Oh, I have a, a weird kind of circle thing. But I only have one of those that I see. And then... I have my tangle right here. So let's untangle this part first, this. I never did see two of those. Never saw two of those. Did not see two of those. Not two of those. Not two of those. No. 
none of those. These are missing. These were missing. Oh yeah, the pretty pipes was missing. This was missing. The Ellie's were missing, so none of these have matches. Oh, this does not have a match. That did not have a match. This is from the first day too. That did not have a match. And, oh, I can't get it off. These two didn't have matches. This one didn't have a match. So I did get quite a few that were unmatched. Oh, I don't think we found a second one to that either. Or that, which is too bad. But I will definitely keep those things like that show up from time to time. And I keep all of them. Sometimes people um, post, there's a Facebook page where people post they want a certain earring if you have the other one. So it's a group, so I have that. I have this. These were very popular, what, 10 years ago? So it's like the wire art from the 70s, only they made it into jewelry. They're cool. We didn't have a match, though. And then this goes to those earrings. So I have like a set. And it does have a thing on it. What does it say here? Can you read it? I won't be able to read through you, but there we go. So you can scream at me while I'm looking. Viv and Ingrid. I don't know if I've heard of them or not, but that's kind of cool to have a little set like that. That's nice. And then, oh yes, I had a question for you all. These earrings um, were from the first day. I did find both, but they're, that is loose. I don't even know if they're worth fixing. See the butterfly in there? Can you see it? Can I get it to you? Oh, there, the butterfly. Um, does anyone know? who that is or or who uses that for me if you let me know I don't know the butterfly I don't recognize it I guess um there was the butterfly and then these which have the little guy on them you can see him here and the little guy Oh, I suck at this. Okay, can, can I get... Oh, there. It's just getting the light right for you. There. They have the little guy. If you know who that is, I'd like to know. That would be helpful. Just I keep a database, and someday I want to publish it, or at least put it out for you guys on, my, on a blog or something. We did find two of these. Um that has all the um, people and what their specific monikers or maker marks look like. Because um, there you find them all over. There is an app you can buy um, that gives you um, precious metals marks. And I love it, I use it. I just used it today to look up a W. So, um, there's that, but I want one for costume jewelry that's easier to use, more user-friendly. Um, in a past life, I made lots of forms and such, so I like to do that anyway. And so, um, I am working on one of those because I use it every day. Or, you know, every time I'm playing with my jewelry and stuff to see or when I'm out. Um, so I would like to do that. So this was quick to finish the jar. Definitely worth the $19.99. I'm glad I bought it. I was kind of lamenting on whether I should spend it or not. Um, the reason is because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six boxes from Shop Goodwill or, or lots. Like, I have two of the um, brooches or pendant brooches lots 
that I have not um, put up. And that's why I decided to film, because if I film, then I have to clean the mess up and put, put them up. So that's working for me. Um, I'm really happy about her. And then um, I have two new ones that I haven't even opened. And I'm going to tomorrow, because I, f I finished the jar today. I love it. I just love her. She was a good find. Um, so I will be doing that, but um, I'm posting. I took pictures of probably 40 of the earring sets today. Maybe 25. But um, I took pictures of them, and I am going to um, put them all up. I have designs and do-overs on eBay and Poshmark. Poshmark I don't really sell anything on, so I probably won't put it there. But um, designs and do-overs on eBay is a good thing for me. And so I will um, be listening there. Of course, Christmas is coming. Um, I do, most pieces come on a card, like you saw. And then I put all mine in a plastic bag with an anti-tarnish, no matter what they're made out of, um, because you don't want any grossness growing on them. And then I put them in a pouch and mail them to you that way. So um, I've got those up and I'm mail is still getting to people by Christmas, they said. So I don't know if that's, I don't know how much longer, but if you find something, no matter whose it is mine or somebody else's, I always say, um, take a picture, give them the picture in a really pretty box and let them know it's coming in the mail. Um, that way you can have a gift for them under the tree or mail them something. I love mailing my granddaughter stuff. She lives in Denver too, in the area, but I like mailing her things because she gets so excited to get mail. And so um, that doesn't matter if that arrives by Christmas or not because she'll just be happy to have it. So there's another idea. Um, and I'm doing some mystery bags that will have bracelets, jewelry, a few rings. I don't really have very many rings right now. so. Your item for seven dollars sold oh wow so I just had an eBay sell but since I'm recording on my phone and not my iPad I didn't get to hear the cha-ching oh I and it's so fun so if you have an eBay store whenever you sell they automatically go cha-ching and send that to your phone um, and so it's fun so you get to have some fun with that so tomorrow I'll be mailing stuff out anything you see um, my my information's um, down below. So there's, I don't know if you know how to get to it or not. Most people do, but if you don't, there's an arrow and you push it and it tells all the information about um, the video. So you'll be able to see that. And it has um, the information about the magnet I use, which is a really good, um, I think it's nodium. I'm not sure that's the right way, but it's a natural magnet earth magnet and so it catches more things strong and then um, my loop my lighted loop and I think I put my regular loop on there and I think that's probably all that's all the oh yeah and my gold and silver testing kit I have that on there and then if there's anything else you have a question about let me know uh, filming is easy iPad iP iPhone I have well, I have like three cameras that I can do real filming with also, but it's just easy to do it on your iPhone or iPad. They're good cameras. Um, and I paid enough for them that I should use them. What else? I think that's it. So have a good evening and watch for um, part three, which will be all of these on cards. Thanks.